forgot about my five minute limit, you know. What do I want to mix in with that first? In many ways, it's quite nice because it just allows us to do this example. So I'm looking at it's between 25 and 27 and a half. So my upper is 25, my lower is 27 and a half. So it's an MCD. Make sure it's on variable minus. So my lower is 25, my upper is 27 and a half. Now, mu and sigma are the opposite way around to how we write them, so you've got to remember that. So, this one here, so sigma squared is 3 squared, so sigma is 3, and mu is 25, so you've got to be careful. Right? So, sigma is 3, mu is 25, so I could just press X here a few times if there's more probability. But what's quite nice, instead of that, if you press down a couple of times, you get F6 for draw. And it gives you a picture of what the area represents. It gives you the probability as well, but the picture you draw with these to make sure it's okay will reflect what's there. So we're on 2977. So 0.2977. There's another example here for less than uh, 1.18. So this one was fine because it was contained with MNAM numbers. But this one, it's going from 1.18 1, 1, 1 and it's going that way. So I need to choose a suitable lower value that would kind of be representative of minus infinity. So I'm going to use minus 10,000 and my upper will be 1.18 and then sigma is 0.3. Because I know that sigma squared is 0.3 squared, so sigma is 0.3, and mu is 1.5, so mu is 1.5. So if I bring up the calculator, that's it. Oops, just drawing dots from the page. So my lower is minus 10,000. My upper is 1.18. Sigma this time is 0 0.3. Mu is uh, 1.5. Instead of just pressing X, if I press down and then press F6 for draw, it gives me a picture which looks the same, so that's okay. So that's 0 0.1431, I think. There. Keep an eye on my time. I've got two, two and a half minutes there. So as a third example, so let's have a look at that. So I want greater than 207 with a mean of 200. So if I draw a little picture, because I think it's really, really important to, to draw a little picture. So I've got the general shape. 200 is my mean. Now I want greater than 207. So that's 207. So I want that part of it. So my lower is going to be 207. My upper, to be massive, is going to be 10,000. Be careful with this because sigma squared is 25. So sigma must be 5. And mu is 200. So mu is 200. Sigma is 5. So bring up the calculator. 3 minutes 52. I'm just going to pause it while I put the numbers in. Did you spot my first error, how I got sigma and mu mixed up? So sigma is 5 and mu is 200. Uh, let's go back to this then. So sigma is 5, mu is 200. Press down, draw it. Looks like a similar picture. 0 0.0808. There. <coughs> so for this one, for example 4, if I was to draw it, so there's 30 in the middle, so mu is 30, sigma squared is 36, so sigma is 6. So I'm looking at less than 21 or greater than 39. So that's going to be the same as 1 minus between 21 